right. Let us take an example. Suppose we take this tiger once again. Two raise to the power of n u n. Of course, we need r to be greater than two, so the DTFT cannot be evaluated. The DTFT does not exist because r equal to one not allowed. But of course, we can always take another, another example, h n is half raised to the power of n u n. And indeed, in this case, r needs to be greater than half. So, r equal to 1 is allowed and therefore, the DTFT exists. In fact, capital H of z, which is summation n going from 0 to infinity half raised to the power of n z raised to the power minus n, which is the z transform of h n. can be evaluated for r equal to 1. Right? So, this is the z transform and this can be evaluated. In general, of course, h z here happens to be 1 plus half z inverse plus half squared z to the power minus 2 and so on. It is a geometric progression with common ratio half z inverse. And therefore, the sum is of course, easy to evaluate. Now, you know obviously, the GP converges if mod half z inverse is less than 1, which means mod z is greater than half or it is the same thing as saying r is greater than half. Mod z is equal to r by definition. So, we have mod z is equal to r. So, we need r to be greater than half and of course, this h z can be written as 1 by 1 minus half z inverse mod z greater than half. Notice a z transform always has an expression and a region of convergence. A z transform is incomplete without any of these two. I shall shortly illustrate that if we did not specify the region of convergence here, there would be an ambiguity in the sequence. 